Hello, my name is Sherry Spears. I am a registered nurse and work at the infusion area at 100 Oaks. I also teach the new patient chemotherapy class. As you begin your journey through cancer treatment, you will have many questions. This video is here to answer some of the questions that you may have as you prepare for the first day of your treatment. This is Sally. Today is her first day of chemotherapy. Let me show you how she is going to prepare for her treatment day at 100 Oaks Breast Center. As Sally gets ready, she is going to pack a bag for her day. Sally is preparing for a long day at her treatment appointment. She has packed a jacket or light sweater, socks, a water bottle, medication she may need during the day, an activity to pass the time such as a book, movie, computer, and charger cord, snacks, and food for lunch. Optional items that are treatment specific are plastic shoe boxes, large baggies, or other ice therapy containers. Your provider will tell you if you need to bring those items. Another task that Sally needs to do before she leaves for her appointment is to apply Emla cream onto her port. Watch as she puts a large dollop of cream on the hard circle area of her port. Then she will put a baggie or press and seal or saran wrap on top of the cream. This protects her clothing from the cream and keeps the cream in place. Don't rub in the Emla cream. It will make your fingers numb. The Emla cream needs to be put on the port one hour prior to the lab appointment. For example, if your lab appointment is at 8 a.m., the Emla cream should be put on at 7 a.m. As Sally gets dressed, it is better for her to wear a v-neck or button-up shirt so that the port is easily accessible. There are chemo shirts available online to purchase too. If you wear a shirt with a tight neck such as a turtleneck or t-shirt, the lab nurse will either have to stretch the neck of the shirt or have you remove it. It is okay to have a light breakfast or lunch prior to your treatment. If your provider wants fasting labs or other tests, he or she will tell you before the first day. It is also recommended to drink plenty of water before treatment. It is also okay to take all of your regular medications prior to treatment. Your provider will let you know if there are any medications you should or should not take before treatment. You may also bring any of your prescription medications that you may need to take during the day, such as blood pressure medication, insulin, or pain medication. It is advisable to have a friend, spouse, or family member drive you to your first few treatment appointments. In the infusion area, where you will receive your treatment, there is only one visitor or family member allowed in your room at a time. This visitor or family member needs to be over the age of 16 and in good health. Your visitor does not need to stay with you, but he or she needs to be able to drop you off and pick you up. Ask your infusion nurse if you can drive yourself because it depends on what medications you get and if they will impair your driving. 